how to autofill text based on font color in microsoft excel hello everyone welcome to excel 10 tutorial in this advanced excel tutorial i'm going to show you an excellent way that will help you to autofill text based on the font color in microsoft excel let's get started <music> Take a look at this workbook here. I have our range from 9 to 8 and I have top limit and I'm going to review them. So let's say if I highlight this cell in red font color, I want to write here automatically, please review. And if I don't highlight them or if I don't change the font color to red, I want it to write here, good to go. Okay, so let's remove this. Now I'm going to do this using a VBA function. Okay, I'm going to use the VBA and create a function. When I apply the function here, it will display either good to go or please review based on the font color in column B or in this specific column okay for that i'm going to click on the developer tab if you don't have developer tab please check out this tutorial and you will learn how to add developer tab in excel once you have added the developer tab click on the developer tab click on visual basic click insert and click module now write the code this is a four line code and this is really easy and i have already written it let me explain first you will have to write function and then the function name in my case the function name will be text based on font color and within parentheses this is we use range so our function will be text based on font color and our argument will be a range okay then we added application volatile because we want to update the formula result every time it calculates anything in excel and then we have written if range that means our specific range we select inside the formula if that range font color index equal to 3, 3 means red in this situation. Uh, if you want to learn color index number, you will have to check out this tutorial. Okay. For this tutorial, we use 3 as red. Okay. So if the specific range font color is 3, then our formula will return please review. Otherwise, it will return good to go. And our condition concludes here and our function ends here. Okay. Once I have added the formula or once I have added the code, I'm going to close the VB and once it's done, if you want to save this workbook, you'll have to save in .excel SM format. So if you want to use this function frequently, you'll have to save it. Click on file, click on save as, specify your location and then click on this drop down save as type and select Excel macro enable workbook or .excel SM file type and click on save okay now i have added the formula and i'm going to write the formula here let's write equal to and then i'm going to write text based on font and you can see this function is added in our excel workbook text based on font if i double click here only parameter is select the range which text we want to check if that has font color red or not i'm going to select this cell and close the parentheses and press enter and as you can see it has written good to go and if i drag and autofill every cell is good to go because there is no red now let's assume the scenario we have our timeline and we have our top limit but here in 10 am to 11 am it says 203 and i don't think it's accurate so i'm going to mark it in red font okay and if i click on this formula and press enter you can see it says please review okay again let's say i don't think this cell is correct so i'm going to change the font color if i click on any other cell and you can see it will automatically update please review that means i can simply take a look at any of the cell and if i believe something is wrong i'm going to just change the font color and click on any cell or anything whenever the formula updates it will automatically change it and it will write please review that means someone who is responsible for this scenario will review this and correct this for me Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. If you can, support the channel through Patreon and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching.